How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Huion H610 um, graphics tablet. And I got this for a really long time ago, but I never got to review it. I did do an unboxing, um, but I didn't really review it. Um, so, and this is, you know, barely used. I've uh, not really used it much because um, I never really got around to getting used to it because it's just so unnatural, you know, the way these tablets work. But I can say one thing, it's much better than a mouse. Um, and if you're starting out on getting some artistic stuff, digital art done or something like that, this is a, a good investment. But I do just recommend going with a, uh, a dig tablet with a screen that you actually draw on instead of something like this because these are really hard to get used to and this is a long learning curve by the time you're getting used to this you might as well just end up buying um you know a digital tablet with a screen that you actually draw on so uh, i use Krita over here i've got it popped up uh, it's not the best software uh, but we're gonna go ahead and make a a, a new uh, canvas or whatever oh god what the heck Okay, low resolution crap displays these days i don't know why people make them with these stupid resolutions but whatever uh, let's just say that we have um, this as our uh, canvas as a 1080p uh, canvas now this you know laptop i'm using is not the best so that's why i'm using a 1080p one but you can do whatever you want so i'm going to be briefly talking about the uh, this graphics tablet like i said i haven't used it much but by the way i'm not good at drawing at all so um do i recommend this tablet if you're looking for something like this and you're not going to go with something with a screen on then yeah go with it you know this is for the price this thing is is a super duper bargain um because uh, the the surface area that you draw on is big like really really quite big it's nice uh it's about the size of a 4.5 something like that it's not a4 and you know that's that's all cool but the thing is these bezels are just so big it takes up a lot of space on your desk that's one thing i don't like about it um now there's a couple of buttons over here there's led uh, over there and that basically just um lets you know uh, it just turns on lets you know if it's in use or if it's not and um you know something like that um i haven't really you know drawn on it i know but i can tell you one thing uh, it's super it's so much better than a mouse and for the price these things go for it's really like you know you shouldn't really um, look for another mouse or something i mean i do recommend getting you just uh, i mean i do you know recommend just getting a tablet with a screen on to do some artwork but uh, this isn't a bad investment if you're just gonna do this here and there one of the things i do like about are these um shortcut buttons over here uh, now you can obviously always use the keyboard this is what i recommend you know uh, keyboard always works really really good uh, i think it's better than this but if you don't have a keyboard or if you're working on a tablet without any keyboard or anything then these are really huge help let's go over them um so you got undo button right at the top these two are your pen and your rubber er eraser buttons eraser um and in krita er eraser is basically a mod that it turns on and then your pen becomes your eraser and kind of works that way um you've got your uh, zoom in and zoom out button you've got your pen size uh, up and down and you've got your pan button which you just hold and then you can just move around your canvas okay now let's talk about the surface area is it big enough and the pe the pressure sensitivity is actually in the pen and um, there's two bones on the pen uh, if you can see this which you probably can't but i don't really care honestly and it does come with nibs and everything look i'm not gonna go over this technical specs okay uh, but i can say one thing um, it has 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity, which is super duper awesome. That's like uh, really, really good. Oh, it's gone a little dirty. What the heck? Or it's just gone worn out or something. Now, it works with a AAA battery, so uh, I don't know. Uh, a battery inside. I mean, I'd rather have it without a battery, but you're paying such a cheap price for something that, well, if you're going to look for something else with the same specs gonna cost you over a hundred this thing costs over under, under 40 pound which way do you close the damn thing with this there okay um so for, for what you're paying for it's just really really cool um so let's talk about the experience i have used it here and there and i do like it you know i just haven't gone uh, around to getting used to uh, this thing uh, now one thing i don't like about it is the pen 
uh, not the fact that the pen is bad and all, but the pen is really, really good. It's the body is just at the back of the pen instead of being at the front, you know, it's, it's at the back. So kind of stupid joke is this, it's, it's at the back. So it's, it's just heavy on the back rather than being on the front. So it's kind of annoying. Um, go ahead and draw something for you guys. The, the pressure sensitivity is really good. Um, the driver that you have to download, it actually comes with a few tools. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, that was just a little bit of mouse. Um, so uh, we've got your uh, pen tablet driver over here click here to be, okay and you can test your pressure um, so I'm just tapping it lightly and as you can see it's kind of making um, doing it lightly if I do it a little harder uh, you know it's a normal crap with the these graphics tablets and the pens and everything uh, it just yeah it kind of works and then we've also got your advanced settings which um, allows you to actually uh, get your area set up over here which is freaking um, awesome uh, there's all, also one thing and here are your keys these side keys over here and you can change them you know to what they do um, but whatever that's if you want to do them and these are your soft keys over here and basically there's 16 buttons uh, capacitive buttons on top and you can map them to uh, whatever you kind of want so uh, key over here you know there's keys so if you want to zoom in and out or whatever like that you can do that over here i don't really use them um, but there you go i just use it like this i just forget about the 16 keys at the top but uh, it's kind of nice to have it um it's kind of a uh, try to sketch something second time i think i'm saying that uh while we sketch uh, i'm not good at it by the way um, I'll talk about the uh, thingy. Um, so le let's just go ahead and talk about the. Uh, yo, this pen size is a little too big or something. Uh, le let's kind of talk about you know the uh, tablet. So for the price of playing, I, I mean honestly, there's nothing really wrong. The pressure sensitivity is really nice. Um, you can take this as a kind of a review of this thing. I'm just going to be doodling around here. I don't, I don't know how to draw on this thing. I'm just bad at it. Oh, I've done it wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm just not good at with um, using guidelines or something. Let's go without guidelines. Um, the pressure sensitivity. Oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot to show you guys that. So if you do it lightly, as you can see, the uh, thing is it's, uh, really, really light. If you go heavy, it's going to go much heavier. And then if I push it down as much as I can that's the pen size is going to be using the maximum and it's actually quite kind of um, it's kind of smooth you can actually change the uh, graph uh, the level on it or something I just not really well that's the best I could do I drew a sperm that's, that's not nice um, yeah, I'm. I'm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's my settings or something. Whatever. So, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, try draw some things with it. Uh, I just can't really get used to this thing. Uh, that's the only thing, and I kind of didn't review it because of that, you know. Otherwise, I'm always kind of down with it. But yeah i mean it, i guess it gets the job done so uh, it kind of works the surface area is not as big but uh, you know it, it's quite big it's kind of nice uh, i'm trying to draw a fly over here i think that's how it look or something um there we go there we go yep that's uh that's really really cool and um go ahead and give it a little bit of a body over here and then um there we go so uh, pretty cool yeah there we go that's that's kind of nice see my drawings are really really nice um let's go ahead and color it in um so i'll give you guys a tip on um if you're gonna get this thing you know um get this drawing tablet because honestly uh, if if you do some research there are actually cheap tablets out there which you can just buy that have a screen on and you can just draw directly onto the screen so i don't really see much of a point in you buying this thing not that it's a bad thing you know it's not a bad thing it's really really cool especially for the price 
Um, but you know, you should just consider those kind of things first before you buy something. Um, just do a lot of research and um, you're probably gonna find it. Uh, let's just, um, but you know, for the price, I, I think this is really, really cool. Um, i do some green. Go ahead and do some green color on it. i uh, use this one here. We go ahead and color it green. And we leave that bit. We go ahead and color that. Um, I don't know which color I want, but here's just a color. So there's the body. Uh, go ahead and move the layer down. And we can see that bit now. Uh, what was I going to color that? Man? Let's just go ahead and do a little bit of ready on it. Um, I think the best thing, best way to explain it is, wow, I, th I didn't think I would get this kind of result with this tablet, but I've got it now. That's awesome. Let's give them yellow legs. Straight up yellow legs. Um, there you go. That looks really, really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and show you guys what I've been drawing with this tablet, but... Yeah, I did that one a really, really long time ago. I did that the old bad because I just never got used to it. Uh, where is it gone? Oh, here it is. I think it's this one. Uh, no, that's not it. By the way, I think uh, yeah, I did <laughs> draw this one. Oh, here it is. Sunset. Right. This crappy painting over here was done with this tablet. I just kind of messed it with the leaves over here. I was kind of going okay, but... Woo, I've no way it happened, so whatever. Well, as you can see, the results are quite nice. Um, you know, there are just two things I don't like about it. The bezels are actually big, and the pen is just heavy on the back. And this is not the pro version, this is the uh, one that came out first. Um, I just needed a refresher, I think. So, uh, let's go ahead and draw this uh, palm tree over here. I think I can kind of get used to it um, if I spend a lot of time on it, obviously, but. It's just these sometimes just these um uh as you can see the pressure sensitivity is really really cool i will be getting a a, a tablet with a touch screen on it you know what is this uh to look i told you i'm not good at drawing okay i got this because i thought i was gonna get better at it and all but i just haven't really improved like at all <laughs> um but yeah i mean i guess it works out you know kind of nice and stuff so um Um, yeah, works with me. So what do you guys think? I think that looks kind of, kind of nice. As, uh, except these uh, leaves over here. I could have done much better. Than that, whatever. Um, this is one of the drawings. Right? And th that's supposed to be water. Why is it not like um, different color? But yeah, I mean, I honestly, I don't really have much to say about this thing. Uh, because um, it's just good. If you want to get it, then this is the cheapest and the best option for the price. So uh, if, if you're looking for a really cheap drawing tablet, this is a really good option actually for the price and what you get for it, uh, you're not going to find in a lot of other things. Um, I know it's not the best video to explain or stuff like that, so uh, kind of sorry, I'm just not um, going to minimize this. You can see the right click and the left click also works. Uh, well, I, I don't know why I mapped that too. But uh, I, I don't think I have a map, but whatever, um, it just works the way it is. Uh, the pressure sensitivity is nice, uh, you can get some drawings done, um, and I think just need to get used to it, and then you'll be off and running and, you know, get yourself some drawings and stuff. Um, so thank you guys for watching, I'll leave it here, if you have any questions, I know I missed out a lot of things, but I wasn't meant to cover this as like a whole review, I just wanted to show you guys it. Um, uh, well, at least look at the positive side. We've got two characters done over here. Really, really nice. I'm digging this. Just kidding. Um, uh, uh, but this one looks nice, kind of. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'll leave it here. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys in a different video or something like that.